welcome to Simple and Rocket 2 Mobile, and I thought I'd make this little mini series of tutorials about basically what I know about how to play the, play the game. I'm no expert, so don't quote on anything I say, but I thought it'd be a good idea to make a little tutorial season series for those that don't quite understand. So first of all, I'll go over the basics of building in this one. So, first thing you want to do, new craft, okay. So you start with this, you don't want this hefty command pod, what do you do? You can't get rid of it, you can't chuck it in the bin. So first thing you want to do is come over to your parts list, click on structural, sorry not structural, gizmos, and then come down to command chip, drag it on, Go straight into settings without clicking anything else, so you're still highlighting the command chip. And then you want to press set primary. Now you can just click anywhere off that, grab the command pod and drag it to the bin. And there you go. You've now got rid of that and you're left with this little chip that you can easily just cover up with, say, some fuel tanks. Easy enough, put one underneath and put one on top, like so. So next, sizing and things. So the orange marker obviously changes the entire thing uniformly. So it'll just change the radius of, say, a fuel tank. These little arrows change it ununiform. So it's in, like, see this surface as a disc, that surface is a disc. It just changes the radius of each side of the tank. And then, obviously, the green one is the length. So next, say you want to make this into a square. So how you would do that? If you come into the the little arrow there, you press this square box, and then all you do is where it is corner radius, you just drag it over, and there you go, it turns into a square on that face, and then turns into a square on that face. If you want to edit them, you can pull them out, like so, to make it any size shape that you want. You see it actually creates a little grid for you to make life easier. If you want to change one corner to a circle, the other corner to a circle, there you go. So you've got a bit of an archway there. It's entirely up to you how you want to change it. So for now, I'm just going to turn this back into a circle. And there we go. It has gone a little bit dodgy. I'm just going to get rid of that, and I oh, want a fresh tank on top. There we go. So the next thing I think people struggle with is how to get multiple engines on the fuel tank. So see, you've got this here. See, this is your rocket. You want to chuck uh, a few of these engines on. There's nowhere for them to go. If you just leave it like that, it won't do anything. It'll just disconnect. Or you can just go with the centre, which is not efficient enough, you don't want just one engine. So if we get rid of that, and then go into gizmos on the parts list, go down to here, which is a fuel adapter, stick that on anywhere, then if you go into symmetry and see you want six engines, put it on six, and then you can attach that them engines to there easy as that. Right next up you want it you want to know how to get this thing to launch. So say you've got this like that. Oh god. So say you've got this like that. Nose cone, there you go, there's your rocket. You want to know if you can get off the planet. What you want to do is go into the menu button there, click on performance, and here's all the data you need to know. 
So for the first stage you want to drag this altitude all the way down to zero because otherwise it's going to be lying to you and you're not going to move. Okay, so next if we go into the engines, on mobile you can press this little hand and it comes up with this tool where you can press the arrow at the top to drag it onto a new part that you want. The hand below that moves it around so don't press that if you just want to highlight something. So here we go, here was, here's our, our window. Now I would just ignore that first, I would ignore this first bit. We don't need that so much at the minute. First thing you want to do is check that your staging is correct. So make sure all your engines are in the right place for stage number one. And there we go, if we go along to one with the right arrow, we can see our, first thing we want to note is our starting weight, our delta V is very low. So what we want to do is highlight our engines, go into the parts menu, the settings, and try changing the fuel, see if that makes much of a difference. So there we go, I don't know. Doesn't make much of a difference. Changing the um, power cycle does tend to give you a little bit more delta V. Obviously it creates bigger engines, so you've got to deal with that. Next thing you want to look at, the most important thing I reckon, is the starting TWR, which is... Take off weight ratio. TWR which is your um, fuel to weight ratio so as you can see it's really high now we've put these powerful engines on so what we want to do is we want to work that down to make it a, a, about one just over one anything below one and you're going to run into problems you're going to run into real problems so yeah there we go I'll just open a craft for you here so you can see exactly what that is. So here we go, here's my moon lander. It has only got the one rocket, but as you can see, stage one, 4,000 meters per second, 1.4 times starting weight ratio. Which is good, that means it's efficient. If we go on to stage two, which it says four, but it's actually the next engine stage. So if you have a look at the stage in here, it has your next engine stage. As you can see, the fuel weight ratio has gone down, but that's because we're going to be a lot higher. So see if we get up to 45 with our first stage. And then it is above one, so that's perfectly fine. See, we'll go all the way to vacuum, and it's still above one, that's fine. So then we'll go to the next stage, which is the lander stage. It's a 3000 meters per second delta V, which is a very high for moon operations, and the weight ratio is still one. So as long as that is one or above, then it's fine. You're gonna gain velocity. So there you go, there's another thing there is one more thing that people might struggle with, I think, and that is the wings or fins. So once you put a fin on, you know, you alter the size and everything. So you go like this, put that down there like that. And there we go. And hang on, where's the control surface? What you want to do is go into the settings for that part. If you want it to be all one control surface, where it says control surface here, close that, get rid of it, and add a new one. And there you go, it'll add one solid surface. And you can change it to any input that you want it to be, like so. So there you go, that's the first little tutorial in this mini series. I hope you've enjoyed and I hope it's helped some people. And I'll see you in the next one.